Hello, today I present to you a simple project, a laser clock, a project with a special visual effect. In this project, we use the properties of phosphorescent paint to be excited by a light with a wavelength close to ultraviolet. For this, we will use a laser pointer with blue light. As you will see in the images, a laser of a different color, even with a very high power, will have an insignificant effect on the phosphorescent paint. We need a blue pointer, fluorescent paint, some brushes, an Arduino board, a DS-13307 real-time module, some small electronic components, and three SG90 servo motors. Use a light-colored support for painting. I chose a painting board purchased from a store with office supplies. I painted in several colors. You can find paint in stationary stores under the name Glow in the Dark in different shades of color. Choose which color you like. For the most effective effect, apply the paint in two layers. Wait two, three hours and the display stand is ready to be used. Unfold the blue pointer and fix it on the upper motor as seen in the pictures. Power the laser diode using a constant current circuit, otherwise you risk damaging it or it will not light up enough. Find the detailed diagram in the description. Attention, handle the laser light carefully it can affect your vision when directly exposed to the retina. The code. It is compiled in Visuino, an intuitive and very friendly program in which you edit the code just by clicking the mouse. You can find in the description all the details in the code in Visuino and IDE format, as well as the libraries used. Next, I will make a brief description of the code. A date and time decoder selects the time and date values. A text compiler will move each value in sequences dictated by a counter. The text comparators will detect the values of the digits and when they detect the set value, they command a sequence component that moves the servo motors in movements corresponding to the respective digits. Let's take the number five as an example. When compare range value detects the text 5, it commands the sequence component and it moves the servo motors in the order of the number 5s. Analog value 1 and component on the horizontal side of the digit and analog value 2 on the two vertical sides of the digit. The analog value 3 component dictates the distance between the digits on the display. You can modify these values to obtain other shapes of the characters in the distance between them. Since the code is quite large, at the limit of the memory of the Arduino board, you can set the time by changing the hours and minutes in the date and time value component without adding a setting sequence that would have exceeded the memory limit of the microcontroller. If you want the clock to display with a longer pause between two cycles, increase the max value of the counter. Now it is set to about 18 seconds. The sweeping speed of the servo motors is given by the pulse generator component. We load the code into the Arduino. We power up the device and press the button to set the time that was programmed in the date and time value component. The orange LED will light up for five seconds, indicating that the time has been set. If you have any more questions, you can put them in the comments section and I will gladly answer them. Thank you for watching. If you like my projects, please share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.